Now we will understand the various functions of commercial banks. Among its functions are acceptance of deposits, lending of funds, check facility, remittance of funds and allied services. We will understand each of its functions one by one. First is acceptance of deposits. Banks accept deposits from the public in the shape of saving account, recurring deposit and fixed deposit etc. and pay interest to the public. After having received these deposits, the banks do not keep it with themselves. They lend it to the other persons. So the next function is lending of funds. Second major activity of commercial banks is to provide loans and advances out of the money received through deposits. These advances can be made in the form of overdrafts, cash credit, discounting, trade bills, term loans and other miscellaneous advances. We will understand some of these terms like overdraft, cash credit, discounting, trade bills later on. The funds lent out by banks contribute a great deal to trade, industry, transport and other business activities. We will understand the term bank overdraft. It is a facility in which the banks allow the current account holder to overdraw his current account up to an agreed limit. The clients generally avail the bank overdraft facility to meet urgent and emergency requirements. Bank's overdraft is the most popular form of borrowing. The bank charges interest on the amount overdrawn by him. It means that suppose you are having a current account in a bank and you are having only rupees 1000 whereas you are to make the payment of 11,000. So you are having shortage of 10,000 rupees. So you can avail the services of bank overdraft and make the payment to the concerned party. When you will receive the payment from some other person, you will deposit the same amount with the bank and the bank will charge interest only the amount overdrawn by you. That is, if you are having the overdraft facility of 10,000, but you have used only 4,000 and that too for 15 days, the bank will charge you for these 15 days only of the amount of 4,000. It is possible that you are having overdraft facility already sanctioned and that amount is 10,000 but you are using only 4,000 in excess of the amount already lying in your account. So the difference, so the amount of interest, of interest will be charged only on the amount actually withdrawn by you, overdrawn by you. Next is cash credit. It is short term cash loan facility to the businessman. This type of funding is done by the bank only after the required security is given to the bank. This credit limit is normally a percentage of the value of collateral security such as stock or property. That is if you are having a stock or property say rupees 1 lakh. The bank may give you cash credit facility of say rupees 50,000. Next is discounting of bills of exchange. In this case, you are having a bill drawn on some other person and you will receive the payment say after 10 days, but you require money now. Under this system, the banks advance loan to traders and business firms by discounting their bills. The banks deposit the amount in the holder's current account after deducting the discount and wait for the bill to mature when they get back its full value. It means that if you are to receive a payment from some other person, then they will discount your bill. They will get the bill, bank will get your bill and they will make you the payment of the bill. That is if you are to receive rupees 10,000 from another person, the bank will not give you 
फुल टेन थाउजेंड दे मे गिव यू से नाइन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड दे विल डिडक्ट रुपीज फाइव हंड्रेड एज डिस्काउंट और इंटरेस्ट एंड से द पेमेंट इज टू बी रिसीव बाई यू आफ्टर फिफ्टीन डेज देन द बैंक विल रिसीव दैट फुल पेमेंट ऑफ टेन थाउजेंड फ्रॉम द अदर पर्सन आफ्टर इट्स मेच्योरिटी डेट कम्स वेन इट्स मेच्योरिटी डेट कम्स नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ फैसिलिटी इज द चेक फैसिलिटी विच इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई द बैंक्स बैंक्स रेंडर ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सर्विसेज टू द कस्टमर्स बाई कलेक्टिंग देयर चेक्स ड्रॉन ऑन अदर बैंक्स इट इज द मोस्ट कन्वीनियंट एंड इन एक्सपेंसिव मीडियम ऑफ चेंज देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ चेक्स मेनली बेरर चेक वट इज बेरर चेक ए बेरर चेक इज वन दैट डज नॉट हैज द वर्ड बेरर ओन द चेक कैंसल्ड If you see a check book and a particular leaflet, you will find that there is written pay. Where here we have to write the name of the person, Mr. This. Here it is written or bearer. If you do not cut this word bearer, here amount is written. How much amount is to be paid? If you do not cancel this word. bearer on the check leaflet of the check book then it is will be known as bearer check the holder when giving it to another person need not endorse the check this type of check is incashable immediately at the bank counter no identification is needed when a bearer check is presented for incashment that is it means that you may have drawn the check in the name of mr say anita mrs anita and you have not cancelled bearer so mrs anita may give it to some another person and that another person becomes bearer that is the holder of the check so anita is not to write anything on the check on the front or on its back side that that person will come and collect the payment the bank will make the payment to the anyone who is having this check next type of checks are closed checks in this case suppose this is the leaflet of the check this is the name of the bank here it is written as pay here it is written as amount here are the signatures there we usually cross two lines right here on the left hand side this is known as closed checks now we will read what is written a closed check generally is a check that only bears two parallel transverse lines on the face of the check usually at the top left corner the crossing of a check is the instruction to the paying banker to transfer the specified amount to the pay account from the payer account and not over the counter it means that when a particular leaflet of the check book or when a particular check is we enter mention two lines we cross cross the check then the bank will not make the payment to the holder of the check on the counter the said payment will go into the account of the person whose name is written here next function of bank is remittance of funds another silent function of commercial banks is to provide the facility of fund transfer from one place to another the transfer of funds is done by using electronic payment system bank drafts pay orders etc and the bank usually charges normal commission for the same it means that if we are living in a place say new delhi and we are to send to our relative who is living in mumbai so we can approach the bank who will issue a draft or pay order or they will send the payment to our relative through electronic payment system and for all the services they will charge a nominal commission from us next come the some of the elect services which are provided by the banks these are 
say like low curve facilities. Banks also pay our insurance premium and make other bill payments as instructed by the banks uh, by the customers. Of course, they will make the payment from our account. Banks also provide underwriting services and help the companies to raise capital through initial public offer. Next, an important term related to the banking services is bank draft. Bank draft is also known as DD or demand draft. It is an instrument which is used by the bank for transfer of funds. In the case of the check, who is signing here? That our signatures are there. And our check may or may not be honored by the bank because of some if, uh, problem in our writing date or writing the name or in writing the amount or there may be some difference in the our signatures but in the case of bank draft these types of problems are not there a bank draft is always owned by the other bank because it is signed by the authorized official or officer of the bank any person can obtain demand draft after depositing the amount in the bank. It is drawn by a bank branch on another branch or on some other bank branch at the place of destination. The bank usually charges some commission in lieu of demand draft. Now, next topic is our types of bank accounts. Four main types of bank accounts are saving deposit account. First is this type of bank account encourages the small savings of the households. The rate of interest given by the bank on this type of account is very less as compared to the fixed deposit account. In India, the, this, uh, the interest on saving deposit is decreasing as the year as passing. Firstly, it used to be say 6%, now it is somewhere between 3 or 4%. Current deposit account. This type of account is suitable for businessmen or institutions or companies. Generally, banks do not pay any interest on these accounts. In this account, account holder can deposit money any number of times in a day and can also withdraw money several times in a day. The bank may charge some service charges for this type of account. Next is a recurring deposit account. What is this type of account? Suppose we may deposit 500 per month in this account for a period of say one year, two year or more. So let us understand it in detail. In this account, a depositor deposits a fixed amount every month for a specified period and the total amount is repaid with interest at the end of the particular fixed period. Suppose we are depositing 500 per month and the period of recurring deposit account is one year and the interest which will be given by the bank to us is 6%. After one year, the bank will give us 6,500 into 12 is equal to 6000 plus interest and the total amount whatever it comes will be deposited or given to us in our account or will be given to us generally this type of account is open to finance pre-planned future purchases such as purchase of car ac purchase of ac wedding expenses of daughter it means that whenever we think that we are to make some purchase of heavy amount or to we are incur some heavy expenditure on particular item or on particular function we may open a recurring deposit account rate of interest on rd account is generally higher than that of saving account deposit next comes fixed deposit account in this account money is accepted for a fixed year fixed period say one two three or five years here we are not to deposit per month here the amount has to be deposited with the bank in lump sum. Suppose we deposit 50,000 in the bank for a period of say 
वन ईयर और टू ईयर और मोर आफ्टर दैट वी मे से वी गेट सेवन परसेंट इंटरेस्ट आफ्टर वन ईयर द बैंक विल गिव अस रुपीज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड प्लस सेवन परसेंट इंटरेस्ट वट एवर कम्स दैट विल बी गिवन टू अस और डिपोजिटेड इन अवर सेविंग अकाउंट और वट एवर मैथड वी अडोप्ट If we want that there is a problem in financial problem in our house and we want to withdraw that amount after say six months, whereas we have deposited the amount for one year, then the bank will charge interest penalty from us. That is, they will not give us seven percent. They will charge some penalty. That is, they will charge some interest from us. Over and above seven percent given by to us, that is they may give us safe charge penalty. That is they may give us five percent for say six months. It may depend from bank to bank interest for that period. The longer the period, the higher the rate of interest. If the period of FD for fixed deposit account is more, that is if it is not for one year, say it is for five year. then it is quite possible that the rate of interest may be 8% the amount deposited is repaid with in interest at the end of the fixed period there is also a provision of interest penalty if the amount deposited is withdrawn by the depositor before the specified period of time thanks for watching if you like our course please spare some time to give a star rating to our course